Well, new year, new me, Blake. Yes, that's the saying, Neil. That is Although, the saying. Same old me. But <laughs> what I do like to do this time of year is actually try and ride myself fit. Yeah. I don't really like doing the whole training regimes that much. I like just getting out there and doing some big winter rides. So I know you're up for doing anything pretty much. I'm a yes man, Neil, when it comes to you asking me to go for an epic ride. So I was inspired by something I saw on Instagram of this place down in the south of England. It's called the Ridgeway, this ride. Yeah. Never been here, thought, let's go and explore it. I've never been here either, Neil. It's 70k we're riding today, Blake. 70 kilometers! So it's decent, right? That's isn't? definitely new year, new me. It's not crazy, but it's quite yeah, big. I like it. January, although it's not too muddy. Um, if you say so, Neil. Right, following on. you. Let's do it. Let's ride ourselves back to some fitness. To the white horse, I heard. Yeah. If there's anywhere I know I want to ride but don't really know much about it, then that's when I get onto Kamut and start to do some investigation. This is the fun part, getting into the nitty gritty of the potential ride, starting to work out just how hard it is, and actually, if it's going to be possible. Also, plugging in our start time to Kamut, it gives us the predicted weather forecast. A nice little tailwind and the rain is coming later in the afternoon. The Ridgeway National Trail is a route in a surprisingly remote part of southern central England. It's Britain's oldest road. For at least 5,000 years and maybe many more, people including drovers, traders and invaders have walked or ridden the high ground of the Ridgeway. Pick your rut, Neil. Pick your rut. Look how horny that thing is. That's spooky diesel, eh? That's spooky. Check out the views. It's insane. Now I know why they call it the Ridgeway, because we're right on top of a big ridge. It's all horses down there. Yeah, see all the jumps. It's a big hill climb. We've just seen them going up. 15k in. Still a lot to go, but so far, so good. Big manual down here, Neil. Oh, yeah, we've been climbing for a while now, and this is our first little descent. Your face is muddy. Just because I've been following you. I'm going to speed. since prehistoric times, the Ridgeway starts in the town of Avery and travels in a northeasterly direction for 87 miles or 139k. I always feel a bit of sort of an extra motivation surge after Christmas to get ready for the new year. <laughs> yes, Neil. I think as I look at the events I'm going to do and I really, really need to be fit for those things. Yeah. What about you? How do you find motivation? Neil, you're my motivation. Ooh. You know why? Because if I'm not fit enough to keep up with you on an epic ride, or any ride out there throughout the year, also a race, I, it's just gonna make my life so miserable, sick, and I don't like doing that. Yeah, I definitely, like, yeah, these things are always hard, those races we do, but yeah. I enjoy them so much more if I know I'm in decent shape. Exactly, it can yeah. really beat you down mentally if you're not fit. That's why I like this time of year, just getting out there and sort of clocking up the miles, but not really going hard, just riding. Tits, Neil. Yeah. Don't think about him, but it's called time in the saddle. Ah, uh, yeah. Exactly. Love That's it. it. Love getting on a bike in the middle of winter. It's so easy to sit inside and watch Netflix or YouTube or whatever. So easy, or just flick on the Xbox or PlayStation and play games all winter. I've done that. Well, we are 22K almost in and got about 50 left, so still a big ride. Look at that, a big red kite up there in the sky. Wow, that's a big red, red kite. Is that the white horse, Neil? You're going to be a bit disappointed when you see the white horse, maybe. OK. OK, for those of you in the UK, just to show you and give you a bit of a perspective of where we are, that in front of us, is the M4. The M4 goes from London all the way into Wales, bypassing Bath, Bristol and all that. We're going to go over it and follow the ridge, the ridge way that way <laughs> to the Thames. Yes, and the Thames runs through London. How cool is that? I didn't even know this was here. God. Let's go down this hill. Neil's waiting.
Snobbery Castle Country Park. There's loads of these really old hill forts all the way along this route. This castle was built in 1972. That's not very old. That's not very old. I was joking, of course. It was 1972 when Swindon Council started managing the site. The hill fort is just a bit older than that, from the Iron Age about 2,500 years ago. Oh no, I'm in a big hole, Neil. I'm in a big hole. I'm out. I'm out of the hole. Oh my gosh. Those rats are scary at speed. Hey, Neil, do you know what? Blue sky over there, but look what's coming. It's, uh, it might be a wet end of a ride, Neil. Commute gives me the trail surfaces and the weather for the ride, but the risk with doing this sort of riding in winter is you aren't always gonna know the state of the trail, and this can really be the downfall of your plans. I plan to ride from west to east, because in this part of the UK, the prevailing wind is westerly, as confirmed on the day by Commute. We were lucky, after a dryish week, the trails were fairly firm and the going was good. Much muddier and deeper, and this ride might have been just too much to try and pick off in the short winter daylight hours. Oh, what? I thought the White Horse was a pub, not a chalk thing on the hill. I chose to ride my Canyon Lux. 100 mil of travel on the back, 120 up front, brand spanking new Vittoria Mezcal tires for super fast rolling. It was nice to just have that bit of suspension when you're out on the bike for a long time to keep it comfy, but it felt like a great choice. Super fast and efficient at covering the ground. Using my Garmin 1030 for navigating with the Komoot app, the big screen makes the route super clear. I fitted an extra bottle cage and packed my bum bag with spares, a tube and as much food as possible. A pump and multi-tool attached to my bottle cages so we could be self-sufficient with any bike issues. And I'm on Neil's new poof reactor because I wasn't organised enough to sort out my own bike. It's a 29er, 130mm travel, maybe a bit too much for this trail, but it's still a carbon frame and pretty lightweight, so well capable. I only have one bottle cage for me, so I plan to fill up en route. Three. Oh, yeah, it's not working. Push it. I just threw away my water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't always rely on previous trail information so because this tap didn't work and Blake had to rely on me to share a bit of water to get to the end. Whoa, look at that herd of deer. Neil. We've seen loads of deer. We have, haven't we? It's like Netherland. Like... I do like venison, but it is deer. On we went through some of the finest English countryside. We didn't see any more deer, preventing me from giving my venison joke one more go to see if I got any more laughs the second time round. I'm not sure who decides on name places, but we passed Parsons Penning, Rough Hill, White Shards Bottom, Blowing Stone Hill, Cramps Hill, and also Fox Hill Motocross Track, where they held the 1998 Motocross Des Nations. Neil. Almost there, dude. Almost there. We've done 67 kilometers. How are you feeling? I feel all right. I'm getting that like achy leg thing from doing a long, mellow day. But we've only got like an hour of light left, so we've just about done it, I reckon. I've got that achy feeling. I had that achy feeling probably like seven, eight kilometers ago. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I'm feeling it now. Yeah. I think I'm starting to feel it even more because I know the end's coming closer. So you feel like it's going to get, you know, it's end's coming. So your body starts going into like relaxed mode. Yeah. It's nice to know it's near the end because I definitely feel like I've been sat on a bike for a long time. But it's been good. Hopefully, at some point, we'll see the Thames at the pier interview. 
and uh, the finish is at the Thames. Thames are singing the swan. That looks like a good pub nail. Is it? That is the t high five, Neil. High five, everyone. You feeling fit already, Blake? <sighs> yeah, Neil, I'm feeling very fit. I think I can ride a marathon. I'm glad to get off the bike now, to be honest. I am. My legs are done in, Neil. But it's done. worth it. It is worth it. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much for dragging me along. Cheers, dude. Uh, now we need a good dinner of protein. I think I need a good wash before we can get in there, because we won't get any food. No. Uh, we just made it for dark as well. Perfect. Now, if you want to stick around and watch another epic ride, click just in the, in the bottom corner. Uh, yeah, over there for how to prepare for an epic ride as well. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications button as well so you know when we can do an upload. Exactly. Give us a thumbs up, like, if you love riding in the mud. Right, time to get cleaned up. Yep, 100%. Do we have to ride back? No. <laughs>